Hi everyone! This is Sergei Lemisov again, a professional in the field of brand strategy. Let me remind you that in this series of videos I show my example and algorithm for developing a personal brand. In the previous video I've talked about my method of competitor analysis. In this video I will talk about what brand positioning is and why it is impossible to build a solid personal brand without it. I also will show you an example of brand platforms and at the end we will fill out a brand platform template that will make further work with your brand conscious and effective. So here we go! What is brand positioning? It is the main message which you want to deliver to your target audience. Here are just a few examples of brand positioning that I've developed. An expert that goes beyond plastic surgery, that treats human nature with care and ethics. That is the positioning for a personal brand of a plastic surgeon. A world made by children's rules, positioning for a children's center in the edutainment format. Fast, delicious, full of energy and vivacity breakfast for the whole family. Cheese brand positioning. Food for body and mind, co-working space and cafe brand positioning. Creating a practical and functional space to live in, the brand of a construction company. Now let's talk about a brand platform. What is that? It is a document where you connect all the characteristics of your brand. Let's divide these characteristics based on a brand platform that I've developed for a company that makes healthy snacks. Now you see this scheme on the screen and again, your brand platform can be visualized in many different ways. It can be absolutely any layout that you or your team feels comfortable working with. So what do we have here? Our product is healthy natural food made from raw ingredients. Target audience, citizens who don't have enough time. Then the main customer inside, which was determined by empathetic interview research. I don't know how to become successful and not lose my health. This is the inside of active residents of cities who work a lot and often snack on the go. And our healthy snacks allow snacking without harming the body, unlike sugary cookies or fast food. Our goal as a snack manufacturer is to support people in their intentions, to be healthy and successful. We also have company's mission to help people get new healthy food habits. We sincerely broadcast this to them, so we, we broadcast our positioning, simple habits of healthy and successful people. Then we reinforce that positioning with functional and emotional benefits. Functional benefits, tasty, nourishing and natural ingredients. And emotional benefits, eco-friendliness, ethics, honesty and openness. Finally, to convince people of our good intentions, we broadcast reasons to believe. Our product is made from raw ingredients, eco-friendly uh, packaging, which means it is recyclable. We list the vitamins and nutrients in our snacks and we tell that all the flavors are selected by the best vegan chefs. And of course, we have a brand person or brand personality. Friendly, active, healthy, funny and open. This point is also often referred to as the tone of voice. Do you remember when we looked at the tone of voice map in the last video? Well, that's one of them. So why do we need such a complicated framework? First, the brand platform allows you to develop a relevant visual identity. It's a rare thing when you get a good design without a brand platform. Because a brand platform gives you an understanding of what a brand should look like. It gives you the metrics you need to evaluate during the work with the art director and graphic designers. Personally, after the brand platform, I would recommend working on the marketing mix, also called the promotion plan. And only after it's done does the visual identity. 
because understanding which promotion channels you will use will allow you to evaluate all the design elements that you will need to develop. This will give a, uh, the art director a helicopter view and allows the development of an adaptive, harmonious design system. The second reason why a brand platform is necessary. A brand platform builds a clear hierarchy of your messages and allows you to maintain consistency, brand harmony across all channels of communication. I recommend doing a promotion plan, website, everything else only after you've developed a brand platform. Otherwise, you will be confused all the time. You will have some chaotic messages in different communication channels and your target audience will not understand you. Let's now take a detailed look of each of the elements of a brand platform and I will use my example to show you how to build one. So if we're talking about product brand, employer brand or geographic brand, before you build a brand platform, you have to research the target audience. A brand platform for these types of brands needs to be built only on real insights. Otherwise, the value of such a platform tends to be zero. We need to understand the functional and emotional needs of the target audience and respond to them with our brand platform. As for the personal brand, it is a different situation. Believe me, no one knows you better than you do. I've seen a lot of different methods of developing a personal brand and some of them involve working with the needs of the market uh, or the opinion of others about you. You see, there is such a variety of opportunities now, such a variety of companies and customers with different values that you can always find your audience. You don't have to make your brand based on somebody else's requirements or somebody else's uh, subjective uh, opinions. I see two main metrics for a successful personal brand. First, being yourself, doing what you love. And here it is not even necessary to have experience uh, or any specific qualifications. A beginner passionate about a project is much more interesting to people than a boring and tired expert with a cliche content. And the second metric is be able to convey information about yourself correctly. Everyone doesn't have to like you. You need to reach out to an environment with similar values. Being understood and accepted is what each of us builds a personal brand for. Find clients with whom it's fun to work. Find a company where you will uh, feel great at your ease. Find a team that is inspired by you and that will support your goals. If you want to be understood, you need a brand platform. Brand platform starts with values. What inspires you and gives you energy? What guides you in life? Like guiding stars. I would like to share my values. They are freedom, aesthetics, sincerity, simplicity, and strength of mind. Now, let's describe your character. What it is about you that excites you? What do you like most about yourself? For example, I am easygoing but not frivolous, clear, open-hearted, powerful and passionate. Friends, if you are having trouble defining your values and character, I would advise you to take a series of consultations with a behavioral psychologist. A good professional will help you identify your characteristics and accept your strengths and weaknesses. A mission is your hypothesis of why you were born on this planet. Each of us on this planet is here for a reason. To understand this, you need to be able to hear yourself and, most importantly, act. Try what you like to do. Enjoy the process of self-discovery. And if you don't understand your mission yet, then there is no need to make something up. 
you can always define your mission later. To shape your mission, you can use the Japanese concept of Ikigai, which will help you to look at yourself from the outside. And I won't uh, detail this framework, just Google it. And my mission is to develop aesthetically pleasing products and brands that benefit people and don't harm the planet. It's what gets me excited. It's what I'm willing to do every day. Values, character and mission are variables that change at a low rate or may not change throughout one's entire conscious life. But I want to point out that these are still can be right. Don't forget to adjust your brand platform, marketing plan and visual identity if you have a change in life. Now let's discuss the more frequently changing variables. First of all, it's a context. It's what is going on with you right now, your goals, your path. Depending on the context, some things can change. For example, target audience, functional and emotional brand benefits, core messages and brand attributes. We'll talk about each point, but now let's go back to context. What is going on for me right now? I'm continuing to improve my competencies in promoting product and employer brands, and I'm also moving toward an art direction and personal brands developing and promotion. And most importantly, I'm preparing to launch my brand internationally. And this context affects the goals of my brand, its communication. And if something changes in my context, it will be reflected in the often changing variables of the brand platform. The target audience is the people you are targeting your communication to. I've identified two core segments for myself. And my additional audiences could also be startups and any companies that need consultations or work in the brand strategy and art direction. But I've decided to focus on these two audiences. First, employers, companies or agencies who are searching brand director, brand strategist or art director with a strategic background. The second, professionals in any field who want to create and promote their personal brand. The next changing characteristic of my brand is emotional and functional benefits. Functional benefits are what are easy to describe in words, like skills, experience, education, etc. I would talk more about my diverse experience. That would be my main functional advantage. So, I have varied work experience. First, with different types of brands, product brands, corporate and employer brands and personal brands, so I can be responsible for all the brand work in a company. Manage product brands, employer brands and the personal brands of the company's top executives. Second, I have work experience from different sides, in-house, in agencies, own startups, that is why I understand perfectly the needs and problems of all sides, which makes my communication and work extremely effective. Also, I have an experience in different markets – CPG, Horeca, construction, edutainment and medicine. I have a broad outlook and a keen eye for cases from different industries. And finally, I have an experience in different areas competitive analysis, human experience, marketing, brand strategy and art direction. I own all the necessary tools for developing and launching any product or brand. Emotional benefits are very difficult to describe in words. It's something that can be conveyed through tone of voice and visual identity. It can be some kind of personality trait. I've highlighted three mine advantages. I love challenges because it develops me and makes me stronger. I'm human oriented. I dive as deeply as possible into the needs of my target audience segments to make the best product for them. 
And the last one, I have a quite good sense of humor. And here, in terms of promotion, I need to think about how to show that. Maybe I will add something else later. And then let's write down our weaknesses. Why, you would ask me? It is needed so that people and companies will clearly understand your shortcomings. That way, there will be no disappointment after starting your work or after a contract with you as an entrepreneur. People won't have inflated expectations, and I think this is important. So, my disadvantages. The first one is that I take some directive instructions very personally. I need to make my own decisions, so I'm not likely to be suited for projects that only require me to follow directions. And secondly, I burn out quickly if I'm engaged in a project without a big goal and without values that are close to mine. That is why I need to understand what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. The core message is a short description of you as a person and as a professional that allows your target audience to understand your essence. So far, I like this description about myself. Unstoppable challenges seeker with a multidisciplinary experience in product and brand development. The next step is to write down reasons to believe, or just RTBs. These are all things that helps to show and prove that everything described above in the brand platform is a truth. In my case, these are case studies, certifications, and peer reviews. These can also be stories from my life. In your case, it could be your awards, rankings, and publications in the media, etc. I also often write down brand assets in the brand platform. The amount and type of brand assets depend on the product for which the brand platform is being developed. Brand assets are added to the brand platform at the very final stage, when they are already created. When we develop uh, brand assets, we can use five senses. Touch, sight, hearing, smell and taste. For example, when we develop a cookie, we have to think about the view of the packaging, the smell of the cookie, what would be taste of it, how the packaging and the cookie itself will feel like, and also to design a sound experience with what sound the packaging will open with and what sound will appear while biting the cookie. As for my brand, I'm going to start with visual branding and sound branding. I'll show my work through those assets in the next videos, but that will be at the very end of the brand development journey. The next important step is to develop a marketing plan. Note that we still didn't start to discuss the visual identity and the design. The first thing we need to understand is what we are going to do, through which channels we're going to promote and what kind of design elements we're going to use. Please note that in my videos and the presentations for my videos, I now use a very neutral design. I have no special colors, no logo or any special identity. Only after I develop a marketing plan will I move on to developing a visual concept. So, let's sum up everything we talked about. This is what my brand platform looks like right now. On the slide, we have all the basic information about my brand. And each section can lead to some kind of more detailed description. For example, the target audience section could lead to a detailed description of all my target audiences, personas. And the brand assets section may already lead to brand book and other various guides. The visual goal of a brand platform is to show the main brand features on the single slide. You can use my template to fill out your brand platform or visualize some of your own. You can find a link to download it in the video description. Most importantly, don't forget to add the bullet points I mentioned above. I wish you good luck. 
If you found this video useful, please like it and share this video with your friends and colleagues. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below or write me personal messages on any social networks. And I'm off to record my marketing promotional plan video. See you next time!